Welcome to the Seattle Wine Awards, Washington State's premier wine recognition program. Here's an exclusive behind the scenes look at the evaluation process and our tasting panel with your host, Margot Myers. Welcome to Seattle's historic Rainier Club, the site of this year's Seattle Wine Awards, and I'm thrilled to be joined by Fred Dame. He is a master sommelier, and he's also the vice president of sales for the Heirloom Wine Group. And maybe this is the first time that you've been to this event. Maybe you can tell me what you're noticing about Washington wines. They're fabulous. It's always intriguing to do something new. And I visited up here, I've been to the Washington Wine Week, but when Chris Chan, uh, the manager here, told me that he was doing a wine event and a tasting. I said, I'd be interested to come and try this. I normally do other uh, competitions, but new ones are always interesting because you get to see new wines from different places in a different setting than you normally do. No labels, mm -hmm. all blind, and you're tasting strictly on quality. So what have you tasted so far, and what are you noticing about these Washington wines? We started off with Pinot Gris today. It was, it, it, it kind of surprised me because I, I kind of expected more aromatic wines, and they were actually a little bit more classic in style. Then we moved on to white Bordeaux blends, and that's always a really mixed bag. So, you know, it's, there, there's no standard to judge it by. You just sort of judge it by, do you like it or not? That's always a fun way to taste wine. We then tried Sangiovese, and I never really thought of Washington, even eastern Washington, as warm it can be, as a, as a home for Sangiovese, but some very, very intriguing wines. Um, and then we got on to Merlot, and I am a huge fan of Merlot from Washington State. I think that one day Washington will produce the finest Merlot in the world and they're getting darn close now. And We drank some spectacular wines today. It was illuminating to be able to taste them. What about some of the differences between California wines and Washington wines? I mean, totally different styles? My or? family came to California in 1842. Don't ask me to go down that road. <laughs> um, no, you know, it's sort of apples and oranges. I mean, there are similarities, but the things that you do well here seem to be unique to you. And the style's different. Um, the, the fruit profiles are different. So I, I admire a lot in both. What you can tell, though, no matter where you are, is where really good winemaking is going on. And right now I'm seeing some very, very good winemaking going on in Washington. What are some of your favorites? Do you have a favorite? Or if you're just sitting down to have a glass of wine, uh, what It's do you kind prefer? of you know, the menu. I mean, you can yeah. make a million ways to say I like this or that. I will tell you I'm a huge fan of Syrah, which does very, very well here because it's such a wonderful variety that goes with so many things. And it's very, very easy to drink young. And since we drink an awful lot of young wine in this country, 95% um, of the wines sold in the United States are consumed within eight hours of their purchase. So young is good. <laughs> I'm not surprised. And as again, I mentioned Merlot, which I'm a huge fan of here. And I really think that this is the one place in America, um, maybe New York State as well, where Riesling does exceptionally well. As one of just 112 Americans who have passed the Master Sommelier program. How did you manage to do that in just a single year? <laughs> I mean, there's three parts and they're all very extensive. Well, when I, when I took my examination, there was no American exam. I had to take mine in England. And uh, they stopped taking Americans for over a decade because we didn't do particularly well in the examination process. So I petitioned them for a couple of years and uh, they finally came back to me and they said, okay, you can take the exam, but just the master's exam. So you're all in, you know, the chips are all in. I said, fair enough, let's have at it. And um, I had a really good couple of days and I won the Krug Cup, which is passing all three parts in one year. And the person that I defeated for the cup was the sommelier of the year in all England the year before. And since then, we've never lost to England in world competition. <laughs> <laughs> you like that fact, don't I you? I like that fact, I certainly <laughs> do. Uh, Anything else you'd like to add about what you're noticing about Washington wines? I have to say that I really love the fruit flavors in the wines. They're very, very fruit forward. And that's not a negative, that's a positive because it tells you that you're starting off with something really wonderful and that the area is really great for the way that production happens and that growth happens. So I'm seeing that and I'm also seeing a very, very good thing in the fact that the winemakers aren't playing with it too much. They're really taking what Mother Nature is giving them and turning it into something that's really spectacular. So not too much fooling around, not too much of this, not too much of that, just very, very solid winemaking with beautiful fruit. What's coming across in the bottles is spectacular. What about some of the less common varieties of grapes? Um, you've seen some of those today too, the mm -hmm. common years and some of those. What's your opinion on that? Well, 
it, it's not really what my opinion is, will people drink them? And that's the job of sommeliers and the people we train to bring those wines to the public. It is a bit of an adventure and a huge challenge, but it's what we do. So on the other side of the coin, you see that the winemakers are taking a risk. And that's always good news because you never know where something great is going to come from next. And I think what we're tasting today is proving that there is a tremendous amount of opportunity in Washington. Great. Anything else? The hospitality here has been just fabulous. And normally I don't do new events, but I was so intrigued by what they're doing here that I wanted to come and do this tasting uh, and, and sit with the other judges and hear what's going on here. And it's immensely encouraging. And I think there's nowhere to go but up. It's going to be very, very exciting times. Great. Thank you very much, Fred. You're welcome. For more information, visit SeattleWineAwards.com, friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and watch more videos on the Seattle Wine Awards YouTube channel. The Seattle Wine Awards, a toast to Washington wine.